Okay, so I'm here to try to explain how to calculate period and frequency. Um, see if you guys can follow along, and if you have any questions, you can just shoot me a message. I will try my best to answer you over Google Classroom. So we're talking about period and frequency, and period is the time it takes per one repetitive motion. So in this case, a swing would be a repetitive motion. And we have a boy on a swing. He makes eight swings in 12 seconds. So these two pieces of information are going to be important when we solve for the period of a swing. Now, the period is the time it takes per one swing. Well, the boy makes eight swings in 12 seconds. So if it's the time for one swing, period will be the total amount of time, which is 12 seconds divided by your eight swings. Okay, sorry, I'm a little new at the sketch pad here, so you just bear with me. All right, so 12 divided by eight swings would give you the time, one and a half seconds, for one swing. This would be what's considered the period. Second part here is the frequency. The frequency is the number of repetitive motions, in this case is swings, for every one second. So when we look at this, the frequency okay, is going to be eight swings. So that's the thing that repeats itself. When you swing on a swing, you make the same motion over and over again, divided by 12 seconds. Okay, when you do this and you make this calculation, you end up getting 8 over 12, which is 0 0.66. Now, the units would be 1 over seconds, okay? But this is also called a hertz. So, it makes two-thirds of a swing for every one second, and that's how you calculate frequency.